Okay. Dr. Fauci, did you ever delete an official record? No. Dr. Fauci, did you ever conduct official business via email? To the best of my recollection and knowledge, I have never uh, conducted official business via my uh, private email. Don't you think that if these experiments are made using American tax dollars, that any of those royalties, this nearly billions of dollars, should be going back to the American taxpayer, not in the pockets of the scientists? Do you believe that's a law that we should consider changing? Uh, if you want to change the patent laws and the, and, and, and the Bayh-Dole Act, then go ahead. Okay. <laughs> but th that's not for me to well, say. I'm asking your opinion. My question to you, sir, did you cite this article at the White House because the NIH direct director asked you to suppress the lab leak theory? I did not do that in response to anybody's suggestion to suppress anything. It was in response to a question that someone asked at the podium, and I did not edit any paper as shown in my uh, official testimony. So you said about four or five things, Congressman, that were just not true. Dr. Fauci, um, I want to join my colleague from Florida in apologizing to you uh, that some of our colleagues in the United States House of Representatives seem to want to drag your name through the mud. Uh, they're treating you, Dr. Fauci, like a convicted felon. Actually, you probably wish they were treating you like a convicted felon. They treat convicted felons with love and admiration. Some of them blindly worship convicted felons. Public health is a matter of urgent um, and comprehensive public concern. Under Donald Trump, when the COVID-19 pandemic began and spun out of control, we came close to becoming a failed state, which the political scientists define as a state that cannot deliver the basic goods of existence to its people. According to Dr. Deborah Burks, Donald Trump's own COVID-19 advisor, America unnecessarily lost hundreds of thousands of people because of the recklessness and indifference of Donald Trump and his administration. Now the people who brought you the political big lie, claiming absurdly that Trump won the 2020 election, which he lost by more than 7 million votes, now bring you the medical big lie, making the outlandish claim that Dr. Fauci was responsible for causing COVID-19. Using the select subcommittee as a platform for this disinformation, House Republicans now find themselves in the familiar position where their own investigation debunks their runaway political rhetoric. Just like the broader committee's impeachment drive proved only that there were no uh, presidential crimes, much less high crimes and misdemeanors attributable to Joe Biden, the investigation of Dr. Fauci shows he is an honorable public servant who has devoted his entire career to the public health and the public interest, and he is not a comic book supervillain. He did not fund research to create the COVID-19 pandemic. He did not lie to Congress about gain-of-function research in Wuhan, and he did not organize a lab leak suppression campaign. Today, Dr. Fauci's testimony, along with the thousands of pages of documents and dozens of closed-door testimony provided to House Republicans as part of the COVID origins investigation, will dispel these hysterical claims and reveal that the people bowing down to a twice-impeached convicted felon who told Americans to inject themselves with bleach now want you to believe not only a big political, a, a big political lie, but a big medical lie, too. I hope that this committee will be able to correct all of the propaganda and disinformation today, and we will be able to actually return to uh, what the good ranking member has said, which is an authentic investigation of the origins of the pandemic. And I will yield back to the gentleman. First, uh, Dr. Fauci, uh, thank you for your testimony and your extraordinary service to the American people. Let me just start. Was there anything you wanted to clear up in that last exchange that, where you were interrupted? No, I think I made it clear. I mean, they were talking about my knowing about uh, a lack of compliance. That became clear, Congressman Raskin, well after the fact. It isn't as if they were not complying and I was not monitoring their noncompliance. I didn't know about it until it was a done deal. Gotcha. You've been a scientist and a scientific administrator for 54 years. Is that right? More than a half century? And Correct. you were director of the National Institute of, uh, of Allergies and Infectious Diseases for more than three decades. Is that right? 38 plus years. 38 years. Okay. And I assume that uh, uh, you've never been accused of trying to uh, start a disease before. Is that right? That is correct. 
Um, you have devoted your life to fighting infectious diseases for the American people. Is that right? That is correct. I want to go back to um, this email that you cited in your opening because I think it goes right to the heart of this uh, campaign of character assassination against you. The claim was essentially that you tried to cover up the possibility of there having been a laboratory leak, which of course is perfectly possible and if this committee were doing its job, we could actually be working to advance the investigation of that. But they would rather assert that you tried to cover up this possibility. Um, here's the email that you sent uh, on February 1st uh, at 12.38 a.m. Um, to Christian Anderson, um, with a copy to Christian Anderson, but you sent it to Professor Jeremy Farrar. Jeremy, I just got off the phone with Christian Anderson, and he related to me his concern about the furine site mutation in the spike protein of the currently circulating 2019 NCOV. I told him that as soon as possible, he and Eddie Holmes should get a group of evolutionary biologists together to carefully examine the data to determine if his concerns are validated. He should do this very quickly. And if everyone agrees with this concern, they should report it to the appropriate authorities. I would imagine that in the USA, this would be the FBI. And in the UK, it would be M MI5. It would be important to quickly get confirmation of the cause of his concern by experts in the field of coronaviruses and evolutionary biology. In the meantime, I will alert my U.S. government official colleagues of my conversation with you and Christian and determine what further investigation they recommend. Let us stay in touch. Best regards, Tony. Was this the email where you were putatively trying to cover up the possibility of a lab leak? Uh, yes, uh, Congressman Raskin, and that's the reason why I mentioned in my opening statement that is it inconceivable that anyone could get out of that that I was covering anything up. Would you have any reason to cover up uh, any new scientific evidence relating to the origins of the COVID-19 virus? Absolutely not, and that's the reason why it was important to get people together that to discuss this in a transparent way. Have you spent your whole life trying to determine the causes of infectious diseases and then to stop them to protect the American people? Yes, I have. Well, Dr. Fauci, um, I want to join my colleague from Florida in apologizing to you uh, that some of our colleagues in the United States House of Representatives seem to want to drag your name through the mud. Uh, they're treating you, Dr. Fauci, like a convicted felon. Is there anything else you would like to say to the American people about your service to America during the course of the COVID-19 pandemic? My main job during the COVID pandemic was to play a role with my team at the Vaccine Research Center to develop a safe and effective vaccine. And we did that in an unprecedented short period of time, never seen before in the annals of vaccinology. As we all know, that vaccine and those vaccines have resulted in saving of hundreds of thousands of lives in the United States and millions of lives throughout the world. Well, you have fought uh, AIDS and HIV. You have fought COVID-19. Um, and you are fearless in doing so, do you have any reason to be afraid of scientific evidence or data or the truth? Not at all. Thank you. I will yield back to you, Mr. Chairman.